Well, Drew, I'm here with Kyle Peterson. Let's talk about this Arkansas FSU game. What do you like about both of those teams? Well, everybody's hot coming in. I mean, that's kind of the nature of this tournament. You had to win to get in. I, I think for Arkansas, it's it's the consistency the whole year. There has to be some value to just knowing the ballpark. And I know that not everybody was here, but enough of them were here last year. But they've just been really good. They've been really good from start to finish. Um, Florida State's been really good for two weeks. And it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, at this point, it's just that you get here. But obviously, the Mike Martin component of this is, is real. Um, it's, I was with them in Athens and I was with them in Baton Rouge the last two weeks and just to see the way that a team plays differently when they realize that maybe their coach's last weekend or their last game, you know, and they, they had to get here to keep that 40 wins a year streak going. So there's, there's plenty of talent from Florida State standpoint. Does it match up with Arkansas? It's probably not player for player, no. But as we've seen in this tournament year in and year out, it's, it's not always, in fact, rarely is it the most talented team. It's just whoever gets hot for two weeks. Well, the big storyline, like you mentioned, is 11 in his yeah. last year. But Arkansas also has a lot to play for, especially considering what happened with them last season. You think that's probably a motivating factor? It has to be. I mean, there's kind of a redemption tour for a few of them. I mean, Arkansas, obviously, yeah. you're a few feet away from winning the whole thing. Mississippi State was undefeated until Oregon State beat them twice to get on to the finals last year. So, you know, these kids from state that are back again, obviously the Florida State component. We don't lack for storylines this year, that's for sure. And I guess rarely do we, but this year it feels like there's a lot more. And what we love is, you know, the surprises that got into this thing are Michigan, Florida State, and Auburn. All power conference teams, power athletic brands. From a fan base standpoint, the place should be awesome. I and mean, you guys are always going to travel. That's the way it works. But when you get some of these others that have these huge fan bases, just the environment that it creates is a blast. Florida State's been kind of a roll through the SEC lately. Yeah. Do you think they have what it takes to take down Arkansas if they need to? Yeah, I mean, again, it's just it's a one-game deal. I mean, it, somebody could get hot on the mound, you win a game one nothing, and it's it's not. I guess the beauty and the curse of a tournament like this is, you know, baseball's best told over 162 games. That's why they play them in the major leagues, and so you don't always get the, the true story in three hours. But that that's what we've got. And so if you're going to win the thing, you, you know, you got to get hot over some three hour periods coming up. And, and it could be, you know, it, it could be as simple as a one nothing game for Arkansas. You probably want the wind blowing out just because they're a little bit more offensive. But Florida State showed that they can be offensive, too. I think it'll be fun. I mean, I hope it's a night to where we're not talking about the weather. We're not talking about the ballpark. We're just talking about the two teams on the field and, and the offense shows up a little bit. Well, Kyle, thank you so much for your time. All right. Good seeing you. Drew, we'll send it back to you.